Okay, so hello guys. Welcome to my tutorial. This is gonna be my first tutorial. Is this recording? Yes, it is. Uh, this is gonna be my first tutorial on how to make stuff with Photoshop. Because I had a lot of requests saying that, I mean, instead of making backgrounds, I could show you how to make backgrounds. Uh, so first of all, in the description, I'm going to put a link to the video showing you how to get Photoshop for free. And, yeah, and I'm going to be post putting links on where you can find stuff I'm going to be mentioning in this video. Uh, so, and I'm also making three, I think I'm going to be making three, um, three videos. One is going to be about how to make sidebars, the other one is going to be how to make YouTube backgrounds, and the other one is going to be how to add sidebars on Camtasia the easy way, because you know the way with the black screen thingy and stuff, it's really difficult to do and to just know what you want to do, and there is a really easy way, and I'm going to be showing it to you. So... Um, a lot of you know, a lot of you who watch my videos know that I have some pretty cool looking sidebars, like this one, and this is really easy to make, it's not even, it's like really easy, so first of all, uh, what you, yeah, I have some really cool pictures here as well, so where you want to get these pictures at is wallbase.net. I'm going to leave uh, a link into the, in the description. You can get a lot of cool pictures there. I don't know if need the time now. And yeah, that is the pictures I use. And if you want character like fan art, because uh, like this Gary spray thingy, like, if you want this, go to DeviantArt right here. I just typed in Darkrai. You can find a lot of cool pictures here that are really good for editing and stuff. So, yeah, that is where I found this Charizard and this Gary spray. So, let us just start into making sidebars. You want to have white... The weight... I don't know how it's spelled, just... W I D T H at 160 and height at 600. So when you have this, uh, just copy my settings. Yeah. And just press OK and you're going to get the sidebar thing. So uh, let's begin then. First of all, what I like to do is not this, but this. I like to choose a background for my sidebar. Like, let's go with this one. So yeah, this is gonna be a sidebar tutorial if you haven't noticed yet. Um, okay, so you put it up like this, and you can just angle it whatever you want. This is, and you can choose any picture r really, but this looks pretty badass. So I'm gonna stick to this. And then, we just add some stuff. Let's try with this Palkia. Let's see here. Yeah. You can make it smaller by Control and T. You can resize it. So yeah, here's Palkia. Now, a lot of stuff, if you right click it and go to Blending Options, you can get a lot of stuff that you can do with this Palkia, like well, I don't really like to do anything except like give it an inner shadow, looks pretty cool, and a stroke, a black one. Yeah, see the Palkia already looks different and awesomer. And now one really cool thing that I, I think is the best thing ever, if you go to filter and artistic, you can see colored pencil. This is probably the best option on Photoshop. You can just like do these stuff. If you were wondering how Chica Conroy did those pictures on his bio like somewhat different, this is how. He just chose some of these 
cool, awesome options. So, my favorite is watercolor. It just looks so awesome. So, yeah, now Palkia is messed up. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Then, after you're done with that, you just put a profession, put, put like this. And as I said, I'm not that pro. This is really easy. Yeah, don't need the style. Just lower the opacity. And here you have a professional looking sidebar. Nobody's ever going to think that you just took a picture and just made that palkia there. And it's really easy. Yeah, you just got to know your stuff. Know the button combos and stuff. Still have time, so I might as well show you how to add the sidebars. So... You want to save as, choose the best quality, and here you, you have to save at PNG. It is vital. Um, let's just name it untitled, whatever. Okay. So that is how you make a professional looking sidebar. You can add info on it later. That is actually all there is. If you have any questions, just post them at the comments. I will answer any question there is. Uh, so now for the actual Camtasia Studio. I'm also going to be showing you how to add the sidebars here. So let's just get this thing video that was made by Roz for me. For something. Um, so yeah, if you want your video to be HD, which is really easy to do here, just click on choose the dimensions, the HD dimensions right here. Okay. And it will just be the HD dimensions. So what you want to do now is I chose a wrong video for this. Wait, I don't know what to do with these. Let's just choose intro. Yes, <laughs> salvation. Okay, let's remove that and go with the intro video. This is an intro to the One Up community, a group I'm in. Yes, I'm in a group. Shouldn't be wondering. Okay, so yeah. It's a, it's a small window, uh, so how you want to add the sidebars, you take a sidebar, duh, for my case, the untitled one, and put it in the callouts. Whoa, how did, how did it get so extended? Anyway, now you're going to see that the sidebar is way, yeah, you want to have it PNG, as I said. Sidebar is like way off the video, yeah. So how do you fix that? You go to zoom and pan, maintain aspect ratio. You just take it off and just zoom in to the video. Probably gonna add some smexy music to this because me talking is really. Oh come on! I just said maintain aspect ratio is gone. Okay, so. Just zoom in a little more. Yeah, see now it looks pretty awesome, huh? And the sidebar looks sweet. So that's actually how. This is really easy. And now you just go to produce and share. Choose HD here and render the video in high definition like... Yeah, and it should be pretty, pretty darn fast. Let's see how and how much this rent, how fast can this render? Yeah, see, it's like really fast, and it's gonna be HD. Okay, so I think this is enough for the tutorial for sidebars. If you have any questions, just ask. If that includes editing as well, as just ask any questions. If you have any questions related to this video. Thank you for watching, and next tutorial I am going to be teaching you how to make backgrounds, which is probably going to be uploaded tomorrow. See you later.